John? Hello? Hi, it's Carter here. Carter, hey, how's it going? You read that file yet? <laughs> hey, John, this is Belize, man. Nothing happens so quickly. But look, I have been going for it today. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Go for it. How certain are you that that parcel of stones came from that particular mine in Guinea? Well, that's what the trace showed, but you know the system. I mean, the synthetics could have gotten into the chain undetected at a few points along the way, so long as everybody further up the chain is in on it. That way the numbers add up. Well, look, I'm just about done with the file, and I'm due to be in New York the day after tomorrow to give a lecture at the Institute. So maybe we can meet up after that. Sure. Um, say about 2 o'clock, that'd be great. All right. See you in a couple of days. Well, it's been a long time. Maybe it's time you and I had a look to get together, huh? What do you think? Rob! Eloise! Come on, it's time to go! Rob! We're going for a day. Let's get going. Most likely upstairs in his bedroom. I thought you said there'd be no one in. Hello? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the party? Mum said everyone was going to be there. What's going on? Why are you here? I don't understand. Bog off, will you? I'm not talking to you! Well, what do you expect me to do? It's all right and he recognised you. I had no choice, I had to do it. Let's just get what we came for, then get the hell out of here. Mum, the front door's open. They're all synthetic, but incredibly good quality. Best I've ever seen. Mm. It was bound to happen sooner or later. I know, right? I mean, we always knew that it was just a, a matter of time, but for someone to be making gem quality synthetics of this size and clarity isn't the problem. It's what they're doing with them that concerns us. Hmm. Okay, John. 
I'll take the assignment. I mean, we can't have all the world's lovebirds thinking that they're buying something that's been underground since, well, since forever. When actually what they're getting is something that was made in a factory last week now, can we? I'm due to be in London next week. So if it's okay with you, I get onto this straight after that. Well then it's settled then. Good. And you can have Conrad to help you as usual. And I'll arrange for him to meet you in England. Hello, you. Oh, hi, Jeremy. How are you liking your new job? Have you settled in all right with us at Baines Automotive? Um, yeah, yes, fine, thanks. I hear good things about your organization of a conference in San Maxime next week. Good, I'm glad. Did I tell you that Anna's coming with us? She wants to stay somewhere warm for a few days after Moscow at the weekend. Me too. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Louise. How are you doing? I'm okay, I suppose, in the circumstances. This is about business. Whoever did this will pay for what he has done. The police don't seem to be making much progress. Don't worry, Sherry. Justice will be done. Of this, I'm sure. It's right. Rob was my only grandson. And from what I'm told about their investigation, you can't rely on the British police. I will take care of it. How? There are ways. Just leave it to me. Philippe, I know you have other things on your mind right now, but I still need more diamonds. I've already told you that's all they can produce. Well, it's not enough. I have buyers wanting more, and I don't want them going somewhere else because I can't give them what they want. Gilles, it's a diamond mine, not a chocolate factory. If the stones are not there in the ground, we cannot dig them up. What about getting some more from you know? You can ask me that. After what has happened, We have a problem. <laughs> C'est un beau bateau, n'est-ce pas, Jack? Hein? Hey, ta maman, comment elle va? <laughs> Et ton père, comment va-t-il? 
prend 304 euros. Ah, ok. Mais elle est sur mon compte. Tout ce qu'il faut ici. <rire> hey, Jack. Your father. He was an English tourist, maybe. <rire> Where are you going? Out. Out where? Just out. But Jack, we've been through all this before. Francoise can manage without you for 10 minutes, can't she? I'll tell her. Hello, Jacques. How about a kiss? Look after the shark for a few minutes, will you? I'm taking you on for coffee. Said anything today? A couple of prints, that's all. But well, maybe you should get another job. You have to spend every day of your summer here, and you hardly earn anything from it. True, but well, I get the flat above the shop as well, and I can always ask Francoise to cover for me if I want some time off. That's the good thing about being the manager. Well, I, th I think I should go home and make friends with Maman. Jacques, you haven't been upsetting her again, have you? But that's her own fault. She still won't tell me who he is. Well, she must have her reasons. That is very easy for you to say. You, you know who your father was. <sighs> Not that it has made much difference to my life, given that he disappeared without a trace before I was born. I, I just need to know who he is. That's all. You can surely understand that, can't you? Yes. Dimitri. <laughs> and this young lady is Eloise Darrington. She's taking over responsibility for organizing our annual conference at Saint Maxime mm. and our presence at exhibitions such as this one. Great. Well, welcome to Moscow. Thank you. Are you also in the car parts business? <laughs> Not really. I work for a scientific institute in Siberia where we do research into many things. Oh, so why are you here? Dimitri's unit at the Institute specializes in research into the applications of graphite, which, as I'm sure you know, is used in the manufacture of brake linings. Ah, well, it's almost two. I'd better get in there. Are you, are you coming, Dimitri? No, no, this session is too technical for me. I'm just a simple administrator. OK, OK. Well, I'll see you later, darling. Okay. Have fun. I will. <laughs> I must go, too. I need to go to the Expo Center to check if our stand is fully supplied with literature after lunchtime rush. Hmm. So, um, I'll buy you a good Russian coffee? Yes. <laughs> yeah, are you really sure? Cool. Really cool. Oh, wow. Thank you. Happy birthday, Jacques. Happy birthday, Jacques. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why the big smile? Well, today is your 21st birthday, Jacques, and that means... Mm. 
You get this. What is it? When you were born, your father put some money for you into an account to be given to you on your 21st birthday. Today. It says here there is 1,200,000 euros in the account. I, is it some kind of a joke? No. No joke, Shay. The money is all yours to do with as you wish. Oui, c'est maman. You know, I can't tell you, Jacques. I made a promise, a solemn promise, that I never would. What will you do with the money? Do you really need to ask? <laughs> à ton père, Jacques. Qui que ce soit. Ton, ton père, père, qui que ce qui soit. Que ce soit. Nicole, hi, it's Carter. Yeah, I've arrived in London. Oh. I, I don't know what to say. Do you want to cancel? I totally understand, given what's happened. Mm -hmm. Of course. I've got things to do here today, and I'll be there later tonight. How about we meet up at the hotel for lunch around 12 o'clock at the bar? Mm. Sure. Of course, but that's fine. Okay, see you then. New Scotland Yard, please. Oh, how nice of you to honour us with your presence. Come on, sis. I need it. If you just got an iPad for your birthday, you'd be wanting to set it up too. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What the fuck? What's the matter, little brother? You broken it already? This is weird. Yeah, let's see. Oh, it looks like spam to me. That's because it's in code. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. How silly of me not to realise. Inspector Harris, please. Hello, Carter Jefferson here. Superintendent Lamont at New Scotland Yard suggested I call you. It's about Rob Darrington. What happened? Single shot to the forehead. Point blank range. It's like a bloody execution to me. Very professional. Mm. His hands were tied behind his back. Did they find a bullet? Oh, yeah. Sent in the grass behind where he fell. Along with most of the back of his skull. Mm. Come on, I'll walk you back to your car. Do you know who he was? Oh, yeah, he's well known to us. Been in and out of trouble ever since he could walk. But not for anything that would explain this, though. You got a name? Yeah, Spicer. Mm. Carl Spicer. He's, uh, he's been living in a hostel since his last little spell inside. Assault with a deadly weapon, I think we got him for that time. Mm. Quite handy with a knife, as I recall. Hey, you don't think this, uh, this killing could be something to do with your case, do you? Difficult to say. I was in London when I heard about Rob Darrington's death. I already knew his grandfather was connected to the case in some way. And as it happens, me and his mother go way back. Well, you, uh... I don't think that there might be a conflict of interest, you know, uh, maybe compromise your investigation. On the contrary, it might actually help. As soon as it looks like there might be a connection, you'll be the first to hear about it, OK? Yeah, right. Have a 
glass of beer, please. <laughs> Nikki! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just so good to see you. You too. <laughs> Are you sure he was the one who killed Rob? It was him. Hmm. Then justice has been done. But nothing can make up for what he did. I'm sorry to hear about Andrew. Even if he did steal you away from me all those years ago. <laughs> but the news about Rob... Well, what can I say? You must be devastated. So, what brings you to England then? The reason may have something to do with Rob's death. Go on. Nikki, I work as an investigator for the New York Federation of International Diamond Traders. A few weeks ago, some very good synthetic diamonds were found in a consignment of natural stones. And I was brought in to find out how they got there. So far, all we know is that they came from a dealer who bought them from a cutting house in France. And according to their records, the whole batch came from a mine in Guinea. But what's all that got to do with me, Carter? Or with Rob? Nikki, the mine in Guinea belongs to your father. Are you suggesting for a moment that my father is involved in something illegal? It is his mind, Nikki. There's no doubt about that. What do you want from me, Carter? You drop in out of nowhere after 24 years, and you tell me that my father is responsible for my son's death? I'm not saying that. Just that there may be a link. But I don't know anything about any of this. Maybe not. I know you probably hate me right now. I don't hate you, Carter. I know you're not responsible for what's happened. But I don't believe my father is either. And I really can't see how I can help you. Maybe you can't. But can I just ask you something? Have you noticed anything unusual or strange in the last few weeks? Maybe something you couldn't explain? No. No, nothing. Except... No, that couldn't possibly have anything to do with it. What are you involved in, Papa? Carter said it was something to do with diamonds. Nicole, he has never forgiven me for opposing your relationship with him. You know that. So you're not, then? Not what? Smuggling diamonds. No, I am not. Bonjour Jacques, montez à bord. Conformément à vos instructions, nous avons renommé le bateau. Avez-vous la traite bancaire Bien sûr. Bon, le bateau est à vous. I don't know if it's got anything to do with it, but... I found this in Rob's room. It's the printout of a very strange email he received just a few days before he died. I think he was trying to decipher it. Thank you. Is this important? I don't know. It might be. Okay, Mary. Okay. I will be back next week. Uh, I'll call you. Call you. Philippe. It seems that Jacques Armand has acquired the Fleur de Grimaud. 
Only now he's calling out the Esprit de Jacques. I didn't know you had sold the fleur. Yes, I agreed the sale while you were in Paris. I was going to tell you what I forgot. What of it? It's nothing, really. It's just that he came to see me to tell me he wants to hire out on charter. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. Uh, I've already given him the Baines charter. As you are now using the Edonist instead of the Fleur, I plan to switch the boats for that job anyway. Yeah, good. Was there something else? Philippe, you know I always inspect boats before taking them onto my books. Of course. Well, I inspected Jacques's boat and... And what? What's it? What's it that worrying you? The book was still there on the shelf. Hi, Conrad. I'd like to pick your brains about something. <laughs> Good luck with that. I've been given a printout of an email that might have something to do with our case. And I'd like to find out who sent it. What are the chances of doing that? Not great. OK. So basically, if it is a fake email account, even if I could get the IP address, which I can't, because Rob's iPad was stolen when he was killed, I probably wouldn't be able to find out who we came from. Well, that's about the size of it. Hmm. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Nice to meet you. I'm Jacques Armand, and the Esprit is my boat. I will be taking you to Cannes today. Bonjour, Jacques. Bonjour. You're late. Well, you were supposed to be at 10. It's 10 past now. Oui, madame, but don't worry. We have plenty of time to get ready. Uh, let, let me introduce you to Yvonne. She will be looking after everyone today. Bonjour, Yvonne. Bonjour. My wife, Anna, and this is Eloise, who has been organizing this conference for us. Uh, madame. Mademoiselle. Um, well, I hope you will enjoy your day. I'm sure I will, and that our guests will too. Perhaps we can go over the arrangements now? Oh, oh yes, absolutely. Uh, please, welcome on board. Appointment with Inspector Harris. Yeah, just want to go through that door over there, please, sir. Cheers. Forensics didn't come up with anything? Oh, nothing that helps, no. No, see for yourself. There's a profile on a bullet, of course, but it doesn't match anything on our files. Um, what about Interpol? Well, we've got no reason to suspect foreign involvement. Have we? It says here there was some blood on his trousers, not his own. Have you been able to identify whose it might be? Not yet, no. no. Can I offer a suggestion? why a beautiful English girl like you has a French name. Simple. My mother is French. No. Where's she from? Well, you won't believe this. My mother grew up in Saint-Maxime, but her father, my grandfather, now lives in parc No way. So who is he then, your grandfather? Maybe I know him. His name is Philippe Lacoste. 
Have you heard of him? Of course. Well, everybody has heard of Monsieur Lacoste. He, he practically owns Progrimo. Is that a problem for you? No, absolutely not. No. Come with me, you little rich girl. I'm going to show you the size of Canada. Come on, everybody's waiting. Well, it's done. My first charter completed. Mm. And I think you have found yourself a girlfriend, maybe? Yeah. Come oh. on. I saw the way you looked at her. Well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> she, um, she's invited me to have dinner with him tonight. Spicer's trousers was Rob's. So now we know who killed Rob, we just don't know why. It's not really any of our business anyway. I can't pin it on anything concrete, but my instinct is telling me it is. If there's a connection between the mine and Rob, that much we know. But my gut's saying the timing of his death is more than just a coincidence. So I guess we better follow up on it then, hadn't we? Good to have you on board again. Louise. Jack. Where are the others? I'm afraid they won't be coming. Jeremy is having to prepare for an unexpected meeting in Frankfurt tomorrow, and Anna has decided to have dinner with an old friend. Oh. I hope you don't mind. Oh, no, absolutely not. I would have gladly paid them to stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Stay here forever. <laughs> Tell me about you, where you live, your family. I want to know everything there is to know about you. Do you have any brothers or sisters? I had a brother. What happened? died recently. Oh, was he sick? No. He was murdered. And I have absolutely no idea why. So soon? Can't you stay a little bit longer? For a few days at least? I'd like to, but I don't think it's possible. I'm sure it would be good for you. I mean, look, the, the, the sea, the, the sun, me. Okay, I'll see what I can do.
Jack Jack <laughs> I'm glad you came. I didn't think you would. So I see. Looks like you were gonna leave without me. I have to take the boat back to Port Remo. I've already stayed too long in this berth. Do, do you want to come with me? Well, in this case, I have something for you. Oh. <laughs> well, I can stay another week, but my hotel is fully booked, so I have to find another one before tonight. I know, I know a good hotel in Port They probably have a room for you. Shall we go? Yeah? Jack? Oui? The piece of paper that was in this book, do you know anything about it? Non mais attendez là, vous allez où Non mais ouvrez vos yeux Tourist. What paper? It was in this book. Oh, oh yeah, I recognize that book. Yeah. But I don't know anything about the paper. I mean, the, the book, the, the CDs, they were all there in the boat when I got it. Why? Oh, no reason, just curious. Would you like to go to the beach myself? Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, well, I will come back for you in an hour, okay? So, I thought I'd stay until next Saturday. Is that okay? Oh, Mum, before you go, do you remember that email of Rob's with all the numbers? Well, it's really strange, but I found something that's just like that, only handwritten. It was on Jack's boat. <sighs> Carter, it's Nikki. I just had Eloise on the phone. You know, she's in Port Grimaud. Um, the thing is, she's found another one of those odd messages, you know, like the printout I gave you. She found it on the boat she chartered for the conference. In that case, I think I better get over there sooner rather than later and talk to her. Carter, wait! Please, don't let her get dragged into this. Please. I have another charge tomorrow. Will you prove for me? Of course. Okay. Shall we get some food? Yeah? I've just had another call from Nicole. Asking me again what I'm involved in. What did you tell her? 
What do you think I told her? I told her nothing. Then what is there to worry about? She says Carter Jefferson will be here tomorrow. She didn't say why, but I think it could be trouble. We need to find out who Carter Jefferson is working for and, and what he's doing here. I have a suggestion. It doesn't make any sense for you to spend money on a hotel. Why don't you come and stay on the Esprit? On the Esprit? With you? I don't mean to... Look, I have a spare cabin. You could stay on the Ford cabin if you want. Yeah? Okay. Why not? I just have to pay a duty call to my grandfather first. And then I have to gather my stuff and check out of the hotel. But shall we meet on the Esprit in about an hour? Great. I have to go to the cafeteria anyway. So I'll be back by then. Okay. <laughs> mm, it's good to see you. Come in, come in. I can't stay, but I just wanted to come over and say hello. Oh, but I'm glad you did. Well, um, it's good to see you. Come in. Come in. Where is your mother? As well as can be expected, I suppose. She must be going through hell. I'm really sorry, Grandpa, but I must go. I have to meet someone in 10 minutes. In St. Maxim? In 10 minutes? I think you're going to be late. No, not in St. Maxim. Here in Port Grimaud. Ah. is some sort of alphanumeric substitution, probably based on a key text. It's a simple but effective coding system. The numbers probably refer to a page, line, and letter in the key text. And what good is another message we can't decode? None. Uh -huh. But where we find a message, there's a good chance we may also find a key text. I mean, it must be somewhere. Monsieur Jefferson. Oui, c'est moi. Il must be Mr. Dubois. Uh, yes, that is my name. But please, call me Antoine. Okay, Antoine. This here is Conrad. He's working with me on this case. Can I get you a drink? Thank you. No. We must get on with business. Time is short. All right. I've spoken to Jack Hammond as you request. And his boat is booked for you for this afternoon, commencing at 2 o'clock. Cool. Okay. okay, shall we? Follow me. Bonjour Jacques. Bonjour. Carter. Bonjour, monsieur. Et Conrad. Et donc, monsieur. Okay. Jacques. Bienvenue à bord. Let's go see if our guests are alright. They seemed a bit strange to me. Why would you do 
that's it. Hey, it must be. Why else would it be here, huh? Well, it's not your typical <laughs> Frenchman's choice of reading, is it? <laughs> Everything all right? Everything's great, thanks. We were just saying this is a kind of strange book to find on a French boat, don't you think? Maybe. But I don't really think you're interested in literature, are you? Are you going to tell me about it? Or should I tell Jacques to turn the boat around and go back to Bob Himmel? <laughs> tell you about what? About why you're here? About why you hired this boat? And about why you're so interested in that book. <laughs> well, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I think you do. Jack, can you come down here, please? What's going on? I don't think these people are who they say they are. I came down to find them searching the boat. Look, we're just a couple of guys looking for a day out from a boring conference, OK? Oh, really? Well, guess what? I don't believe you. And we're not going anywhere until we get the truth. Right, Jack? Right. All right, guys. Playtime's over. What? Where the hell did you get that? Where, where did I... Remember when I went to the bathroom? The airport? You're kidding me. No. Somebody's got to watch over your ass. Well, I don't think there's any need for that here, OK? OK, OK. Well, in that case, why don't you tell them? Sounds like good advice to me. OK. But let's all just sit down and stay calm, shall we? And then I'll try my best to explain everything. You too? No way. I'm not moving until you tell us who you are. Okay. So what are you, some sort of private detective? Something like that. We work alongside the police most of the time and Conrad here is ex-FBI. This is not a game, Dubois. You will tell me what I want to know. And you think someone has been feeding synthetic diamonds into the system illegally? Mixing them in with natural diamonds? Yeah, that's right. Your mother said you was bright. What did you just say? About the diamonds? About my mother? Do you know my mother? <sighs> Your mother? Yes. Sorry, didn't I... Didn't I mention it before? I spoke to your mother yesterday. And she told you I was here? Yes. But why come all this way to find me? And what have synthetic diamonds got to do with me anyway? They appear to be coming from a mine owned by your grandfather. Are you trying to tell me that you think my grandfather is running this, this scam? I don't know for sure, but possibly yes. Likely even. You haven't got a shred of proof of any of this, have you? Maybe there is a way I can prove it to you. I'm taking a chance here, but if I'm right, this will convince you. Pass me the printout, Conrad. Where did you get that? Are you ready to talk yet? What do you want to know? That's better. That's better. Why did you want to make me eat you? Hmm? Now, first of all, those people you took to see Jacques Armand, what did they want with him? Okay, that's it. Yeah. Read it back to me. It says, confirm transfer of merchandise at 3 p.m. Friday, 8th July, on board Hedonist in Nice. that do it for you? The message doesn't say anything about the diamonds. The merchandise could be anything. you'd better see what this one says. Hey, 
Thank you. It's exactly the same as the other one, except handwritten. If you find anything else, please do give me a call. Okay? Keep a close eye on them, yeah? Eloise isn't involved, but I'm not so sure about Jack. And they could both be in danger. So keep a close eye on them. Yeah. Right. Antoine doesn't know anything. You sure? Yes, he was just asked to book Jacques' boat for Carter. I do not consider what we have been doing with this diamond to be wrong. But there are those who see it differently, and it is against the law. We need to find out how much Carter knows. I will take care of it. Leave it to me. Okay. But uh, we don't want any more accidents like with Rob. You understand? That isn't very nice, is it? You should try to be more friendly the way you get. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! I think I will teach you a lesson. Put down the bed! Go on, do it! Get to the film. <laughs> Behave, or you will end up like him. Hmm? Jack, 
Jack, don't listen to him. He's... What do you want? Be ready to leave. Next time I call. Is everything all right? What's the matter? What's wrong? They got Yvonne. What do you mean they've got Yvonne? Who's got Yvonne? I think it must be the ones those diamonds people are looking for. You will learn to do as I tell you. I don't know what to do. You have to tell the police. If I do that, they will hurt her. Maybe even kill her. But they'll know what to do. I'm not so sure about that. Well, what about Jefferson then? Why not get him to help? That is too dangerous to him. I am not going to risk anything with Ivan's life, no way. If you have harmed her, I will kill you. Yes, is that Mr. Jefferson? I hope I'm doing the right thing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me the directions. Uh huh. Okay. You stay where you are, I'm on my way. Right. Just had a call from Eloise? Yeah, well, Jacques just left the boat. Okay, I'm on my way. I'll meet you by the road. Personne, monsieur. Good to see you. You made a good time. Obviously, even safety is very important to you. That's good. That's good. It will make things very much easier for all of us. Yvonne and I 
got to know each other very well last night. Intimately, you might say. Sit down. Sit down! Now that I have your attention, Jack, there are some things I wish to know. Your two visitors yesterday, what did they want? What visitor? <laughs> if you kill her, I won't tell you anything. Okay, Jack. I believe you. We will try something a little different. There's a chic. Now, let me ask you again. What did your visitors want? Do not know, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. They were interested in the document, in the book, in my boat. Kind of coded message. Ah, very well, Jack. Now we're getting somewhere. I knew you love your sister more than that. And having had the pleasure of her last night, I have no desire to kill her. Jack, if you tell me everything, maybe next time I need to watch. No! Jack! Kill her! Do it now! No! 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 Even! Even! Did you get a look at the guy? What is it? Is it Yvonne? What happened? Please, someone tell me. Please? Yvonne is dead. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Have you any idea who they were? No, we're not sure. And you see how Jacques is. All we've been able to get out of him is that they've been asking him about us. And the French PI who's been working with us, he's disappeared now as well. Could be that he's dead too. I can't believe all of this is happening. And what makes it even worse is that according to you, my grandfather is involved? What do the police think? Have they any idea who these men were? We haven't spoken to the police yet. You haven't told the police? Why not, for goodness sake? Because it would take too long to explain everything to them. And everything will come to a grinding halt while they get up to speed. And these guys, whoever they are, will have enough time to cover their tracks and get away. But there's a dead body in the farmhouse up in the hills somewhere. In fact, two dead bodies, maybe three. All in good time. We just need a little more time. Another day or so, maybe less. That's all. Okay, 24 hours. But if you don't tell them by then, I will. Okay. I'll do that. Thanks. Nothing new from Harris. I prefer not to. But I think we better go and see the French police and bring them up to speed. Before they find out what's happened and get the idea we're trying to keep something from them.
Clémence, c'est moi. C'est Jacques. Jacques, how good to see you. I hardly ever get to see you anymore now that you have the esprit. And who's this you brought to see me? Uh, this is Eloise. Enchanté. Maman. I've got some bad news. Where did you find us idiots? Philippe, it went wrong. That's all. It happens. Henri says neither of them got a good look at him. Which just leaves Jacques. Jacques could identify Henri. And that could lead back to me and to you. You don't tell Jacques. Do you understand? You leave him alone. He's not to be harmed. No more killing. This business has already cost too many lives, including that of my grandson. Bonjour, Jacques. I'm Philippe Lacoste. I'd like to talk to you. Can we go on board your boat? Well, Monsieur Lacoste, what do you want to talk about? This is a fine boat, Jack. It was my favorite. Where did you find the money to buy it? What, what business is that of yours? <laughs> oh, no. I'm just curious, that's all. Well, um, my father uh, put some money into an account when I was born. And I used that money to buy the boat. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Jack, who is your father? The truth, Jack, is that I am your father. And the money came from me. Why do you suddenly tell me all about this now? Because now it's important that you know. Jack, I know about Yvonne. I know about what has been happening. I know everything. The people who took Yvonne... And raped her. I'm sorry, I did not know that. But it doesn't change what I have to tell you. One of the men who took Yvonne, he got away. And he knows you can't identify him. The rest of them, the, the other people involved, think that you should be dealt with. Do you understand what I'm saying? I said the one who works for me, no, but I'm still worrying that they will come after you. This is... I know who he is, Jacques. It's my grandfather, remember? I'm probably responsible for my brother's death. So why is he here? Well, uh, Monsieur Lacoste, your, your grandfather is... Is what? Well? He's my father. That can't be true. Tell me that's not true. I wasn't expected to see you here, Louise. Is it true? Are you Jacques's father? Yes. Yes, I am. But that makes me... Jack's niece. Or half niece, to be precise. Oh. Wait, wait. Are you and Eloise? Oh, I'm sorry. I had no idea that you two were together. But you're still in danger, Jack. This other complication, it doesn't change that. Is that him? Mm -hmm. I think we'd better go to the police station. Then you can tell me everything. And I mean everything. Ça 
Non, c'est moi. Maman, I know it's not a good time to talk about it, but I just had a visit from Philippe Lacoste. Really? Why on earth would Monsieur Lacoste call on you? What did he want? He come to tell me he's my father. So it is true then? Yes. It is true. And there's something else. Do you, do you remember, Eloise? The girl I brought in to meet you? My girlfriend? Yes, yes, of course, Eloise. What about her? Well, Philippe Lacos is her grandfather. Where are you? Eloise, I wasn't expecting you. I think we need to have a talk. Commandant, bonjour. Uh -huh. Okay. Merci, Commandant. So, any news? Well, firstly, Commandant Legrand says he's willing to overlook the fact that you had an illegal firearm in your possession. That's good news. Mm. Anything else? I think it's time we checked out Lacoste's place. I don't know how, or how deeply he's involved, but I know he's involved. Eloise, hi. Drink? Uh, no, I'm good, thanks. Okay. You said you had something to tell me. I went to see my grandfather today. There were things we needed to talk about. About Jacques and me. Please, tell me what you know. Well, the diamonds are coming from England. Who from? I don't know. He wouldn't tell me that. He just wanted me to know that he was really unhappy with the way things have turned out. It was not meant to be like this. It was supposed to be a harmless little enterprise, perhaps sailing a little close to the wind, legally. But no one was supposed to get hurt. Well, people have got hurt, not just your brother. I know, but it wasn't his doing. And I don't want to see my grandfather get in trouble for something he didn't have anything to do with. Mum couldn't cope with that right now, not on top of everything else. I can't keep him out of this, Eloise. Things have gone way too far for that. I have to get to the bottom of this. Well, then, 
You might need this. I found it in the kitchen cupboard while I was making coffee. And I tried it. It fits the door to the house. And we've agreed to have dinner in St. Maxime tonight. So that will be your chance. <laughs> Conrad, come down here. Take a look at this. Oh, come on. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. All the coded messages were addressed to someone called Robin at BainesAutomotive.co.uk. Hmm. Well, I appreciate it's Saturday, but is there any chance you can arrange to have all the information about the company to be available for me when we arrive at the airport? And that brings you right up to date. As you know, the coded emails were sent to someone called Robin at the Baines Company. It's a direct and irrefutable link. And an engineering company would be the perfect cover. So how can we help? Well, I've had a look at the information that you left for me at the airport. And we'd like to take a look inside the Baines Automotive Factory. Can that be arranged? Well, it is Saturday afternoon. Uh, I dare say something could be arranged, yeah. Well, if they are making synthetic diamonds in that factory, and it's looking very likely that they are, then there will be some quite distinctive equipment in there somewhere. All right, well, I'll, I'll find a JP who isn't in the middle of a round of golf and uh, get him to sign a warrant. Great. Which of you is Harris? I am, sir. I have a warrant to search these premises. Would you mind opening up for us, please? It looks like I've no choice, doesn't it? But I intend to lodge a formal complaint. I've done nothing that could possibly justify such an intrusion. Yes, sir. Where do you want to start? I would like to look inside the factory. You can't go in there. That factory's full of all our latest development ideas. Our competitors will give a lot to know what's going on in there. No, no, look, you can't go in there. You can look anywhere else, but you can't go in there. I think you'll find, sir, that we can look anywhere we like. This way. There's nothing in there that looks like the kind of equipment that would be needed. You sure about that? Maybe they've developed a new process of using different kind of equipment. It's conceivable, but very unlikely. Right. Something in the mail? No, no. Let's just get on with it, shall we?
Satisfied? Yes. Thank you, sir. Sorry to have troubled you. Seems our information was incorrect. Yes. It does rather, doesn't it? something here. Yeah. I don't trust that guy. He's way too sure of himself. I think we should stake out the house. Keep an eye on him, see what he does. I agree. Could be just a staging post. A middleman. Is there anything else I can do for you? Dimitri, I've got something to tell you. I've decided to close down the operation. No. But for why? Isn't that good for all of us? Well, things have been going wrong. And now the police are getting too close. We must stop before we get caught. What the hell? We we'll already make a lot of money, no? So why worry? We we'll live well for the rest of our lives. You know the money was never for me. No, of course not. Always rubbing off the hood, eh? Always wanting to help the others. Taking money from the rich, giving money to poor. So what do I do with these now? I take great risks to get those out of the factory. But without your arranging distribution, these are worth nothing. Problem solved. Okay. Do I have a drink now? Yes. <laughs> That's how KGB goes into the forest, capture the bear, puts, puts him in the prison. The bear comes out in, in one day. He goes, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was very good. <laughs> this is my favorite. Enough. It's been good doing business with you, Anna. Mm. I see you at the fair in Moscow next year. And I hope your charities can survive without all the money you've been giving them since we worked out our little plan. Mm. So long, Anna. Goodbye, Dimitri. And who knows? By the time I see you again, I might have worked out a different way to get the stones to market. <laughs> Go see the chief inspector, shall we? What can I do for you, gentlemen? Well, we came to let you know that we've solved the case. Oh, really? And did the butler do it? <laughs> no. As a matter of fact, it was the wife. Well, at least she was the contact. So what have you found out? And don't tell me you want to search that factory again. No, there's nothing to be found there. The diamonds aren't being made there. They've been coming in from abroad via Belgium. My guess is... they've been coming in from Russia. 
We know the Russians have the technology to make them and have been doing so for years. Although, not to this standard. Can you prove it? Possibly, if you can catch Dimitri before he shuffles off home. You, again? I've had enough of this. I'm going to ring your superiors. I think you should hear us out first, sir. Why? Don't you think this harassment has gone far enough? Actually, it's your wife we've come to talk to this time, sir. Anna? Why on earth do you want to talk to Anna? Mrs Baines, do you have a computer? Of course she's got a computer. And a printer and a photocopier. What of it? She does huge amounts for charity. She was voted Yorkshire Woman of the Year last year. She needs a fully equipped office. And where is this office? Well, it's here. Across the hall in the house. Excuse me for asking, Mrs Baines, but would one of the charities that you help out be a hostel called uh, Jailbreak? It's all right, darling. I don't mind telling him. Yes. That is one of the organisations I try to help. They believe, as I do, that young people coming out of prison deserve a break. Not that you'd understand that, of course. Why do you ask? Do you have contact with any, uh, any of the clients? Some, yes. Why? Carl Spicer, perhaps? Quite possibly. I don't know their names. I see. Look, Inspector, what's all this about? Perhaps Mrs Baines wouldn't mind telling us where she's been this afternoon. She's been to her book club. I'd like to hear that from your wife, if you don't mind, please, sir. Anna, tell him, please. Perhaps Mrs Baines would like to explain to us why she was in Hull earlier today. Hull? Yes, madam. Why were you in Hull this afternoon? Well, if you know I was in Hull, I expect you also know why I was there. Anna Baines, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Rob Darrington. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. So is it all over then? Pretty much. Just that to deal with, huh? Conrad, after we get to the police station, I'd like you to go to Port Grimaud and keep an eye for me. I'd like to be sure we know where he is at all times. Philippe was involved, but he was a pawn, a partner of convenience, for no other reason than that he owned a diamond mine, something which made it easier to hide the source of the diamonds. He had nothing to do with the murders. That was down to someone else. It was almost certainly someone he was involved with, but it wasn't him. Philip, for all his power and influence, cannot escape all responsibility for what has happened. And there is still the matter of the stolen diamonds. We'll pick him up for questioning, and if he tells us everything, we may be able to do a deal. Officier, bring in Philippe Lacoste. We need to talk to him. A bientôt, Mr. Jefferson. I will keep you informed. Commandant, a bientôt.
Shit, what, what, what are you doing here, man? They are the ones who killed Ivan. <laughs> it's time to leave. Go and start the engines and cast out, then we can get on the way. This is a big boat. I would need the noise to help me. I don't think so. I'm sure you can manage if you try. Just off. You do it. And don't forget who is with your girlfriend. Just remember what happened to Yvonne. I'm using stuff for the girl, understand? Hey, what's happening? Philippe, he was hanging at the back of the boat. He's in the sea now. Give 
Got you say. He never meant any harm. It was just a money making opportunity that came along, one that he couldn't resist. coming over. There's something I have to tell you. Something I've kept to myself for a very long time. Jacques, what I have to tell you is this. Eloise is not related to you. She's not your niece and you're not her uncle. What are you talking about? You know, it's not true. What I know is that Philippe Lacoste was not your father. But what I asked you, you told me he was. I know. I lied. I'm sorry. I thought it best that you should believe, as he did, that Philippe was your father. But I didn't know about Eloise then. That changed everything. I can see now that it's more important that you know the truth. The truth? Do you, do you actually know who my father is? The truth is that your father was a man called Émile Dupont. You said was. Is my father dead? He was killed in an accident at sea before you were born. Do you think he always would come back when she knows the truth. How could you ever doubt it? <laughs> 